Guys, when you're in the great outdoors, you're vulnerable, especially if you're sleeping uh, in a tent, you're camping, hiking, you're on the bug out, you're on the lamb, whatever you're doing. And uh, if you're out and about, uh, not only with wild animals or predators, but also two-legged predators. Somebody can be coming into your camp and the element of surprise is on their side, unless you have some perimeter alarms. Uh, there's a number of different types out there. We've done a couple of different things. One, we took smoke grenade tops and uh, put a shot primer in here, shotgun primer, and these are great. They work great. Uh, typically, you have to drill out the hole a little bit unless they're already pre-drilled. And we've even used mouse traps for shotgun primers. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do. One thing that I've recently done is the Century Alarm Mines. A good friend of mine sent them to me. Uh, they use 22 blanks or actually uh, Ramset, which is for your nail guns. Those are really loud. Uh, that video review is on the uh, Survival Dispatch Insider, which I highly recommend checking out. We do a lot of exclusive videos over there. And then about within 90 days, we'll pop them over to the Sensible Prepper channel. But those are excellent perimeter alarms. But one thing we're gonna look at today is Fifth Ops. Uh, this is a perimeter alarm that is for 12 gauge shotgun blanks and there's a variety of different types. So usually they're very short shells and uh, we're gonna be testing out some flashbangs with these. And then also their small shotgun primer alarm. Uh, I just got online, started looking around and found this company. And so I ordered them and uh, I think these are just great little options for perimeter alarms. Cause again, you take the element of surprise away from them and then you have the element of surprise. Now, the first thing that caught my attention was the 12 gauge trip alarm. Uh, this is a solid block of aluminum. Uh, you have different type mounting points. You can use zip ties here, or you can screw in your wood screws. You know, there's a lot of different ways, paracord, whatever, to attach this to a surface. Uh, then we have a firing pin right here. Uh, it is held into place, and there is a spring underneath. So it just kind of, just like a regular firing pin, and the spring's in there. Uh, and then we have a place right here for your shotgun pr a shell and guys first off do not ever use a real shotgun shell in this it will tear up the piece but then it'll also it could damage it could hurt someone or kill them for that matter uh, because there's no chamber it mainly would just explode but i uh, just don't do that <laughs> now we do have these little mini flashbangs and these we're going to be testing out uh, but they do have a number of different types, even CS gas, which is like pepper spray and a lot of other things. And there's some things out there that you can use, flares, things like that that are just blanks. And that works very well. But you just need to be careful. It does come with this little split ring. The little split ring is going to be even better to grab hold of to be able to pull the firing pin so you can arm it when you're ready. And then there's a little cotter pin that fits in here. And what it does is when you lift this up, you got to hold it. And then you can go right through the hole and place it. Now you're set. You tie on your trip wire here. And we're going to demonstrate it. And then once that pulls, then it hits the shotgun shell. Go ahead and arm the firing pin before you load in your shell. And now you have it into place. Never put in the shell first, making sure that your hand stays away from this. It typically deforms the plastic, and we'll look at that when we use it. Now I ordered this separately, and this is a shotgun primer adapter for your perimeter alarm here. So you can drop in your primer and instead of a shot shell, just drop this in and then it acts the same way with just a primer. Then we have the smaller 209 CCI primer trip alarm. Uh, you can use standard 209 primers. They don't have to be CCI. We have some Winchesters. Uh, this is set where you have your firing pin here and you put your primer into this little pocket. Uh, first thing we wanna do though is you put your split ring on just to make it easier. That way you can pull your firing pin into the right position. Uh, next, you wanna go ahead and just pull your firing pin up until the hole's exposed. And then we're gonna put our trigger pin in, just like this. And then you can put a safety pin right here. And what that does, it keeps the firing pin in case this gets pulled out from firing your primer. Now we take off our cup down here at the bottom, which they call this a muzzle brake. And this is a threaded piece. Drop your primer right here. Your firing pin is in here with a spring. Here we just drop in our primer. But first, take this little eyelet screw, put it in, and then when you screw this in, this gives you a place to be able to attach it to a tree, a post, whatever you can to be able to mount this. And of course, this can also be just strapped to whatever with zip ties or paracord. 
And it also comes in these little kits that have Kevlar, trip wire, you have some primer holders. Then it has everything else that I've just shown you. Now I really like this little primer holder. Uh, at first I thought, you know, this would not be really no use, but it definitely retains the primers. Uh, it is a rubberized piece. And the Kevlar wire is pretty cool. It has this little sleeve that actually protects it, keeps it sealed, and you can pop it out like this, be able to get to the string, and then when you're finished, just pop it back and it seals it up. Or you can use this standard trip wire, this military surplus. One thing you don't want to use is monofilament line because it can stretch. Now right here is the perfect place. You're coming up your back porch and we have this small little area and we're just going to set up a trip wire right here. One thing I would recommend is to put in your eye screw first. Uh, don't necessarily use the uh, alarm system because you know it does put some undue pressure on it. Now we have our safety in place so we don't have to worry about it. We're going to go ahead and tie this up. Just a couple of double knots. Put this little nail in with a wide head. We're going to wrap up our Kevlar cord here. Next we'll just tie it off. Now remove your safety pin. Uh, don't forget to remove this because it won't set it off otherwise. Oh, dang, that's loud. I don't know if the camera actually caught that, but that was really loud. My ear is ringing big time. Now the really cool thing is that you can reuse that same setup because it just pulls the pin out. Let's go ahead and take off our muzzle brake. There you can see the primer just falls right out. That's definitely loud. And this is really simple. Now we're going to mount our 12 gauge alarm. We're going to use these two screws. We're just going to put it in the same place. Now with this one we don't have a safety, so you just want to have a little bit of extra care, especially using the blank shotgun shells. And with it mounted, it's much easier to pull this back and to set in your pen. Place in our flashbang. Woo! Wow! That gets you hopping. As you can see, it's really deformed. The shell, pull back your firing pin. Pull that right out. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Blew that thing out. I'll have to say that was pretty impressive. Really blew that shell out. It's gonna stay in there fairly tight too. It's not just gonna fall out. Now let's see what it does at night. Now we've got it armed and ready to go. We're going to try the adapter for the shot shells. Pop it in there. It fits a little bit loose, but it should stay right there. Pull back on your firing pin. There's your primer. Just drops right out. Makes it really adaptable. Go with primers or 12 gauge blanks. <laughs> I love it. Now the 12 gauge alarm runs about $30. It's not very expensive. And then with the primer alarm, it runs $25. Uh, they do have a number of different packs. They even have kits available that you can order. And uh, just go to the Fifth Ops website and you can check all the details out. But really, a couple of these in your pack, they're very lightweight, or a couple of these. Uh, it will really take away the element of surprise. So guys, check out fifthops.com. Really cool systems, a lot of different accessories to go with these. And from what I hear, they've even got more things to come. 
And to me, this is an excellent companion, especially if you're on a bug out, you're camping, and guys, the world's getting a little crazy, and it's great to have these around. And also, just from predators that come around to eat your food, uh, this will keep them out of your camp. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Guys, the danger in being outdoors, either four-legged predators, predator, 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 predators, unless you have some perimeter, drop it on. This is going to allow you, go ahead and arm, Oops. then we're going to take our, then we'll take our trip, then we're going to, Put this little nail in, put this little nail in with a wide head, 